In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate cervical foraminal compression test, also known as the Sperling test, as well as the cervical distraction test. As I'm going through these demonstrations, I'm going to be uh, putting my hands on your head and neck. I'm going to be putting it in uh, different positions and uh, adding either uh, pressure downwards or lifting up and I'm going to be asking you about symptoms that you might be having. If you're uncomfortable at any point, if you need me to stop or change what I'm doing or if your pain is really severe, please let me know and I'll stop at any time. Is it okay if I begin? Yes. All right. So beginning with the cervical foraminal compression test or the Sperling test, the purpose of this test is to assess for cervical nerve root compression and a positive test would be reproduction of the patient's symptoms, including their neck pain and the uh, extremity symptoms that they're having, whether those be numbness, tingling, or pain. Neck pain alone would not be considered a positive test. So how we're going to perform this, we're going to take one hand and we're going to monitor the cervical thoracic junction. And we're going to take our other hand and we're going to place it at the very top of their head, and we're going to with our patient's head in a neutral position, we're gonna add an axial compression down until we feel a little bit of pressure at the cervical thoracic junction, and then we're gonna ask our patient if they're experiencing any symptoms. Do you feel any pain? No. Okay. If symptoms are not replicated in this neutral position, we can further exaggerate cervical nerve root compression by adding extension, side bending, and rotation, and then adding our longitudinal compression down to the cervical thoracic junction and then asking our patient if there's any symptoms. Do you feel any pain? No. Okay. Once we've assessed one side with that side bending rotation and extension, then we would add those motions to the other side. So extension, side bending, and rotation, and then a longitudinal compression down to the cervical thoracic junction. Do you feel any symptoms there? No. Okay. And then we bring them back to neutral. For the cervical distraction test, now this test is also assessing for cervical nerve root compression, but a positive test in this case is going to be relief of the patient's uh, radicular symptoms. So this may be a more useful test in a case where a patient is having persistent uh, cervical radicular symptoms. So because performing this test is going to include our hands in the front of the patient's neck and under their chin, we're going to want to be clear on what we're doing and where our hands are going to be so our patient's not surprised and so that they um, are okay with this uh, test. So I'm going to be putting my hand right under the back of your head and also under your chin. I'm going to be avoiding making any direct contact to the front of your neck. Uh, let me know if you're uncomfortable at any point or if you feel any uh, sudden symptoms or if you need me to stop at any time, okay? Uh, is it okay if I begin? Yes. All right, so go ahead and look forward. So how are we going to perform this? We're going to take one hand and we're going to cradle the occiput, either using the web between our index finger and our thumb or we're going to take our uh, index finger and thumb fingertips and uh, make contact with the occiput. Then we're going to take our other hand and we're going to gently cradle under the chin uh, taking great care not to make direct contact with the anterior neck or put any pressure on the front of the neck. Then we're going to add a distraction force straight up to the ceiling and after we've added that distraction we can ask our patient if there's any change in their symptoms.